Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm actually going to be finally working on that used transmission that I purchased a while ago. So we're going to be opening that thing up and we're going to be looking at the inside and inspecting like you know the synchros and all that kind of stuff and looking at the bearings to make sure that they're all okay. Um, as well I'm going to be replacing the input shaft bearing and all the seals uh, of course and then I'm probably going to be taking out the speed sensor as well because it's like seized on there obviously and it doesn't have a bolt that's bolting it on what i'm going to be doing is probably going to swap the speed sensor that's already in the car onto that one so if i pop it out i can easily pop this other one out and then we can just swap it later but today we're going to basically be working on that transmission finally so let's get to it all right so here's the transmission um as you can see, this is the speed sensor. It is broken, cracked over here. Not cracked, but um, the housing here it, that had a bracket that holds it, it's, it's chipped off. So, I mean, there's supposed to be a bracket that holds it in place, but this is obviously seized on there, which like I said in previous video, is not uncommon. So I'm gonna basically be taking this out and then opening up the case. So first step to opening the case is you gotta remove this bolt here. There we go. Next, I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna sit it on some two by fours because this is gonna hit the ground. So I'm doing this all on a tray so that it doesn't leak anywhere. That comes off. Uh, in the Honda manual, it did say to remove um, the switch here too, but I don't think that is absolutely necessary. But if the Honda manual says to do it, I, I'll, I'll take it off as well. There you go, the switch is out. Next, we want to take this bolt out because this is where the, the clip is. All right, so after you get that bolt out, which is a 3 three eighths, there's that clip right there. So you'll remove all these other bolts around the transmission. Then you'll remove that, you use, uh, I guess, the pliers and open up the clip and it should pop the housing out. So I'm just gonna go and do that real quick. <laughs> snap ring pliers and pop this housing off. So we got it out. Huh, there is a little bit of rust here. All right, so there it is, the cover's open. It does take a little bit of jiggling and prying around, but I got it out. But uh, this is what the internal looks like. Um, from the looks of it, just from looking inside, there's where the input shaft bearing is. It actually looks all right. All right, so next, Basically, we're gonna have to take this reverse gear out. Um, I think, do we remove those? Oh no, we take this bolt out as well. This bolt and these, these two here. And then we should be able to lift the whole assembly out. So 
this reverse gear, you gotta make sure it goes back on the same way. So this way has to face down. So I'm just gonna leave it like this into the tray so that I don't forget. And I'll obviously take a good shot of it. That way I know that it goes in this way. And I'll bring the camera up close. So there is a washer here that goes into this. Put that into the tray. Oh. And then I guess now there's nothing really holding on to here. And you should be able we should be able to just wiggle it out. Yeah. There we go. Oh man, look at all that rust. Alright, so there was two washers here. Just put them back up. Oh, crap. So there is quite a bit of like rust inside here, as you can see. Um, that's likely from when we washed it. But definitely, there's supposed to be a magnet here. There we go. And right here is where the speed sensor is. So we're gonna have to whack that out somehow. But... All right, so I can't really get the speed sensor out. It's actually really in there. Just gonna pour the oil out. So now, basically, we're gonna inspect um, the, the synchros and stuff like that, just by looking at it. Um, so this actually is fine. This transmission is okay. Uh, I think this bearing does need to be replaced. So I made a mistake here. These diff bearings don't actually need to be replaced. Uh, they are usually submerged in oil. So just because they make noise when they're dry doesn't actually mean they're bad. I spun them in oil and they spun smoothly, no noise and no play. So they're actually in good shape. Same with the input shaft bearing, but the other bearings are still really smooth and fine. So I think I just need to get some diff bearings to replace and it should be good because um, this surface is still really nice and smooth. The only way to really find out if any everything else is still good is by looking, taking this whole gear assembly out and looking at it. But I'm not going to do that because I don't have a press to press everything back in. Um, you could do a, use a hammer, um, but I, I choose not to. You don't want to mess with it too much. Um, after all, this is my first time actually taking apart a transmission. So what you want to look for in the synchros is these little gold rings here. Um, you want to look at for a hat, like a house shape, you know, like, so it's, it's a, it's like a little, um, triangle with a square. So you look for this and you look around and you got to make sure that they're all like decently worn, like not rounded off or anything like that. Um, so I'm, I'm taking a look and right now everything is, is, it looks good. And just inspect the synchros on this one. So synchro wise, they're all good. Everything else, is, it looks fine, to be honest. And this spins nice and smooth too, these bearings. All right guys, so with the vehicle speed sensor, um, it's really tough to get out. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna tap some M10 threads into it. So this is an M10 by 1.5. I also got myself a M10 bolt. So I saw someone um, somewhere on YouTube do this. Uh, so they, they basically threaded um, new, new threading bolt in there and then they put a bolt in there and they pried it. So hopefully that works. It won't compromise the speed sensor in any way because you're still able to put the gear in um, or the cable, I mean. So let's try it. Oh, finally. There we go. Speedo gears out. All right, guys. So for pounding out your input shaft bearing, that's pretty straightforward. So you get your throw bearing out and then right in here, you could get a flathead screwdriver and you just get it onto the edge there and you just tap it out. It'll come right out gently, um, as you can see. And then you can get the rest out with the transmission standing like this. There you go. I mean, from the sounds of it, this bearing is also not bad. 
if you can hear it, it's actually not noisy at all. So this input shaft bearing technically is still good, but while I'm in here, I might as well replace it. So also inside here, there is a seal and just gotta pop that out with either a flathead screwdriver or or like a, a seal remover bolt tool. And that shot somewhere. Yeah, so there you go, I got the seal out. So we're gonna be replacing that as well. All right guys, so it's all cleaned up now. Um, I sprayed it down with some brake cleaner. Uh, now it's basically time for installing some of the seals and stuff. So I'm gonna be installing the input shaft seal and the bearing. So here's the seal and here's the bearing. So the seal would just go in like this. All right, next we're gonna be pushing in this on the bearing. So you want the words facing up and then you tap it on home with a, a mallet. a body hammer since I don't have any other hammer. All right, so that is good. Um, now we could just replace the, the diff and the, the shaft and all that stuff. All right, diff goes in. But that's pretty smooth, as you can see. Bearings are definitely okay on here. Um, doesn't necessarily mean it's always going to be quiet. It's it's because um, you know these bearings are meant to have oil filled into them. All right, time to put back the counter shaft and main shaft. This is going to get a little tricky because you got to line this bit up and snap into place. All right, sweet, that's in. So I just basically need a magnet, um, which I'll order from Honda. And then this transmission is good to be put back into the car, I guess, or put into the car actually. So let's just reassemble it all. So I'll reassemble it mostly, but not fully because I still need to put the magnet on. So for the most part, this looks pretty good. Everything is spinning nice and smooth. This is normal. <sighs> Plus, I noticed that these bearings are actually replaced. Um, this um, main shaft bearing or the input shaft bearing was the original. So that is good for now. All right, it looks like I have to pull this apart again. So what happened is that I was looking in the Honda manual and the washers are missed Place. They're, I mean, not misplaced, but they're in the wrong direction. Um, they're supposed to be facing the other way. Um, it looks like whoever rebuilt this before didn't re rebuild it properly because obviously this, this, um, the washers are, are, are placed incorrectly. So I'm going to have to take all this off and start all over basically. So you notice the washer is actually facing upwards. This is the wrong way. It's supposed to be facing downwards like that with this shim on top like that. That's how the Honda manual has it. That's how other rebuild pe people that rebuild transmission have it. Um, I'm not sure why um, it was placed incorrectly, but 
previous person that did the rebuild didn't do it properly, that's for sure. Alright guys, so I basically have the transmission all kind of set up already. I'm just missing the magnet. I'm going to give Honda a call to see if they can still get the magnet. But um, for the time being, we're basically just not doing anything to this transmission until we get the magnet to reassemble it. Right now, I just put the casing back together, like, you know, loosely so that I could reassemble it later. Um, worst case scenario, I'm just going to pull the magnet out of my other transmission and then put it in here. And then we're going to roll with it. But um, for now, basically, this video concludes here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please comment, like, and subscribe, and share my videos. As always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, yeah.